Hey guys, it's Marina. It has been such a long time since I recorded a YouTube video. I've just been really busy making videos for my Patreon community. If you haven't heard about it, it's called Made to Make. I post a weekly video lesson on a topic related to photography or freelancing. So that's pretty much been taking up all my time when it comes to recording videos, but I'm back on YouTube today with a topic that I'm really excited about. So today I'm gonna be talking about going to college, going to university for photography, if I think it's worth it, because I did. I went to college for photography. That was what I studied. That's what I got my degree in and I get a lot of questions of people just constantly asking if I think it's worth it what alternatives are out there for people that can't afford to go to college or aren't sure if they want to and it's such a great topic that I'm super pumped to talk about so I posted a Q&A on my Instagram story asked you guys to submit questions for it so we are going to go through those together but first I want to give you a little backstory on my experience and what it was like <laughs> So when I was in high school, I saved up and bought my first DSLR when I was like 17, I think. And I was doing a lot of photo shoots with my friends around town, just at sleepovers, always had my camera orchestrating some sort of ridiculous photo shoot. But that is like kind of the only thing that I was like, okay, I'm obsessed with this. I'm really passionate about it. And you know, I was starting to apply to colleges and I didn't know what I wanted my major to be. I had no idea. I ended up choosing Florida State University in Tallahassee. And I started as a freshman. I was mostly taking those gen ed classes that weren't really Related to a major that you just had to as a freshman but then when it was time to choose a major I decided on studio art so my overall degree is in studio art but in that program you choose a focus area on like what type of art you want to reach down on and I of course chose photography so throughout my four years at FSU I took all kinds of different photo classes from darkroom film classes to digital classes I learned how to shoot uh, with strobe lighting in the photography studio so I even took a bookmaking class where I literally like sewed pages of paper together. But yeah, I pretty much chose to go to college for photography because it's what was expected of me. My parents, you know, had a college fund saved up for me. It's what they expected me to do. It's what I expected myself to do. And, you know, looking back, I'm like, okay, I don't use my degree. Technically, yes, I use my degree because I'm a photographer, but I don't like need my degree for a job, like a full-time job. And if you're kind of like in the boat right now where you're deciding whether or not to go to a university, pay for four years of college tuition, we're going to talk about all the different alternatives there are and kind of just break down the questions that you guys submitted. So I went to a public university. It wasn't private. It wasn't specifically an art school. So I will say that my experience in the photo program at this public university is probably totally different than going to an art school. So it's just important to keep that in mind when it comes to like looking at colleges, if that's something that you want to do. Definitely do research on their programs because my photo program was very small. There was only two or three photography professors when I was in school and they only taught a couple of different classes and those classes were only offered like every other semester or every other year so it was really hard to get a spot in some of those classes that would fit with your like four-year timeline it was a challenge for sure but I still really appreciate it I learned a lot in my photo classes mostly on the technical side you know I was finally introduced to Adobe Lightroom classic I like had never used Lightroom before I started taking photo classes in college you know I learned a lot about Photoshop I learned a lot about operating my camera Did didn't learn everything, still learned a lot myself from YouTube, but you know, I, I learned some stuff, which is good. In my darkroom film classes, I learned a ton. Learning how to develop your own film was really cool. How to expose it on paper was really cool. I didn't love those classes for like other reasons, but I still learned a lot in them, which was awesome. But it wasn't things that you can't learn on your own through YouTube or attending workshops and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in detail when I go through your guys' questions, but that's kind of like what I learned in my photo classes. However, when I was in college for photography, I was also doing a couple other things on the side that helped me a lot in my photo journey. I got involved with student-run fashion magazines on campus. So there were a couple of different magazines that students came together to create every semester, publish a new issue. There would be a fun release party, everyone would get a copy, but throughout that semester, all of us would work together on a magazine issue. So there would be, you know, writers, people that were interested in journalism, there were stylists, there were models, there were graphic designers that would all come together to work on producing a magazine issue. And I was obsessed with these. So I got involved with quite a few of them throughout my four years in college, working as a photographer, shooting women's, you know, beauty editorials or men's fashion editorials. I even shot the cover for a couple of different issues. 
issues. That was super exciting. And this is kind of where my passion for working with a group of creatives to bring like an idea to life really like came to fruition. I got a taste of that and I was like, oh yeah. This is what I wanna do for a living. Like, this is the dream. I would love to do this type of like fun, creative portraits and stuff full time one day. And you know, it's taken me quite a while since college to get there, but that is what I do now. So that's super exciting. But that's kind of where I first got a taste of like creative photography. And then also one other thing that helped me was I was starting my business for the first time in college. I was taking on paying clients for the first time. You know, when I started as a freshman, I was charging like 30 bucks a shoot, 50 bucks a shoot. And then by my senior year, I was charging way more than that. I was getting so many clients because I was starting to establish myself throughout the community there. So that was really exciting. And I learned a lot of lessons when I was running my business. Mostly I did graduation photos, hiring a grad photographer when you're, you know, graduating in your cap and gown around campus. That was like tradition at my school. There was a big need for that. So that's kind of what I focus on primarily. Those were like the three things that kind of were the catalyst for me to like grow in photography. It wasn't just going to photo classes. It was all of the above. And honestly, I would kind of argue that running my business and working with those fashion magazines helped me in photography more than the classes did, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> so that's kind of just what my journey looked like in college. And I'm kind of going to go into more detail as I answer your guys' questions. So let's look at a couple of them. Okay, the first question is what classes helped you the most? My favorite class in my photo program was a class on shooting in studio. I can't remember what the actual name of the class was, but basically there was this studio class called Lightbox on campus that was for photo majors. That was a course with all these different strobe lighting, backdrops that, you know, when I stepped into that class, I had no idea how to use it, but that was the point of it. Our professor taught us how to use all the equipment. And then all of our projects in class were to rent out that studio and, you know, create a project, create a photo shoot in the studio. And that was my favorite for sure, because I had never shot in one before. And now I shoot with strobes all the time. So it was super fun to, you know, learn how to do that. And that's probably probably the class where like the skills I learned in that class helped me the most in my career because I, I rent a studio now, I have strobe lighting now, and I use it all the time for work. Okay, this question's really good. It says, were there the stereotypical pretentious art students or were people chill and humble? <laughs> that is a good question. Honestly, most of my peers in my classes were really cool. I'm still friends with a few of my fellow students from my photo classes. And then another question I saw was, is there something you wish you knew before you started the photo program? And this kind of goes hand in hand. So I'm going to talk about both of them. What I didn't know when I started the photo program at FSU was that it was really like fine art oriented. So it wasn't centered around like commercial photography. There were no classes about like the business side of like working with brands or shooting for companies. It was very, very fine art oriented. You know, some of the classes were about the basics of photography, obviously learning how to shoot in manual, learning how to edit in Photoshop and Lightroom, like digital media classes. But in general, most of the projects were really around like abstract photography, still life photography, experimental photography. And that was something I didn't expect or I just didn't realize when I joined the program. And it was fine because I still did my thing. I still did portraits. I still like to focus on like women's fashion, you know, because that was my passion. That's what I wanted to pursue. So I would take the project guidelines for, you know, every time we had to submit a project and I would kind of tweak them so that I could be more like me. There weren't that many people that were like doing portraits like that. Everyone's work was really experimental and abstract, which was super cool and awesome for them because that's what they want to pursue. But there were like times, you know, in critique days when you would bring your photos and hang them up on the wall and everyone, including the students and the professor would go from each person's work to give constructive criticism and feedback. And feedback that I always got was like, you know, sometimes they'd say, this is a great photo, this is a pretty photo, but it's a little basic. It's a little, looks like an Urban Outfitters ad. It looks, you know, like something I've seen before. And it was meant to be constructive criticism for me to like be more experimental and artistic, which I totally get, but that's not like what I wanted to do. I wanted to shoot for Urban Outfitters one day. You know, that was the type of route I wanted to go. So it was a little challenging to kind of, I felt like I truly couldn't be myself and create the work I wanted to create depending on like the project guidelines. So that's something I wish I kind of knew going into it. And I wouldn't say that my peers were like pretentious like that. It was more just like they were interested in a different route of photography than I was. So our opinions didn't always align. So I'd kind of just like take the constructive criticism and be like, okay, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. And try to like be more experimental while still being 
true to myself and what I wanted to do, if that makes sense. But I mean, the best part overall of my program was one of my professors. He was like the head of the photo department and he saw that what I was doing was like kind of different than what we were expected to do in class. I don't know. I just met with him quite a few times and was like, listen, I want to do like commercial stuff. I want to do portraits. I want to work with clothing brands. Like this is the dream for me and I'm finding it hard in my classes to like do that. And he was super understanding and wanted to help me. So I actually did an independent study with him where I was able to create a project my last semester at my senior year where I created my own fashion magazine. And that was my, one of my credits for that year was he let me, you know, do what I wanted to do and do it to the best of my ability. And he gave me advice throughout that whole process. I would meet with him and he just kind of guided me on how, like what I can do to improve and what types of shoots I can do to create like my own fashion magazine. So that was like really, really cool. And I appreciate him because his work is not like that at all. His work was very experimental and abstract and you know, he didn't do any kind of like photography like I do. So it was awesome that he saw that in me and wanted to help me. So that was my favorite part of my experience. So I'm super grateful for him. Okay, next question. Did you need to buy an expensive camera to be in the major? So at my school, there was an equipment rental for photo students. So they had all kinds of like cameras and tripods and lenses and all kinds of different equipment that you could rent out for free. That's just part of your tuition and do something that you get access to. I don't know about other schools, but that's probably an option for many schools. So if you need to, you can rent a camera if you don't have one. But if you're going to school for photography because that's what you want to pursue in life as your career, I would just suggest investing in a nice camera. Because if you're already investing in going to a university and paying that tuition, you might as well invest in a camera as well. Consider it kind of like an expense like books would be. I feel like at that point when you're committing to studying photo in school, you might as well commit to buying a nice camera because that's why you're there. Okay, a couple questions about if it was hard, if my classes were hard. Some of them, yeah, some of them were challenging. My darkroom class was pretty challenging because, you know, we would develop our own rolls of film and then we would actually expose them on photo paper. And if we made any mistakes in our exposures, our professor made us like redo <laughs> the exposure on the paper, which was like kind of frustrating because the paper was like really expensive and I was really broke. So I, a lot of the time I just like didn't perfect my photos because I just couldn't afford to keep wasting paper. <laughs> so that was something that was hard for me. At my school, part of the studio art major, you're required to take a few different art history classes. Some of them were like the basic art history one and two, but then you got to choose some of the other ones. And I found a class that was the history of photography. So I decided to take that one as my art history credit. And that was like the hardest class I ever took in college besides math classes, because I was like the only undergrad student in that class for some reason. It was all grad students. I don't even know how I got on it. Basically every exam in that class was like super long essays you had to write, <laughs> like argumentative essays. And I don't know, it was so hard. I ended up getting an A in it, but I had to work my butt off, but it was a super challenging class. So that was a hard one for sure. But some of the other ones, like the studio class I talked about, and then like some of the digital classes, they were really fun for me. I didn't find them challenging. I learned a lot and you know, some of the projects were challenging, but in general, I just really loved it. It wasn't like super hard. Like, let's be honest, art classes are gonna be easier than other majors in college. Like if you're doing biology or literally anything else. Someone asked what classes outside side of photography are helpful for a photo career. Business and entrepreneurship classes are huge. I think I took four entrepreneurship classes in order to minor in it and they were super helpful and honestly like they're some of the most valuable classes I took and I still remember things I learned about them. You know, learning between a sole proprietorship versus an LLC versus an S Corp, you know, establishing yourself as a business. All of that in my entrepreneurship classes was super helpful. And then I took maybe one or two marketing advertising classes some of the stuff I learned in my marketing class was so, so, so important. And I still think about the things I learned and apply them to my business when I'm promoting a product or, you know, promoting my business, wanting to book clients, wanting to sell a product. Like I use that information all the time. So take as many business classes as you can, entrepreneurship classes, take as many advertising and marketing classes as you can. Someone said, how did you manage getting through the non-creative parts of college? Math is not it for me. Same. <laughs> One of the math classes I had to take was pre-calc. I don't honestly remember what the math class was, but it was 
so hard and I never you know failed any classes in college I mostly got A's and B's but this class could have been it I was getting a D most of the semester in it busting my ass trying to learn how to do math it was so hard so many nights crying staying up all night trying to figure out <laughs> this class I did a lot of tutoring luckily there was like free math tutoring on campus that's where I basically lived that entire semester ended up passing it with a B minus but yeah it was really hard to get through those classes but it sucks it's something that you got to do some advice that I would have would be like if you know that you have to take a math class to graduate and you know that you're gonna struggle in that class and that it's gonna take a lot of studying and it's gonna be really hard for you I would kind of balance it out with some easier classes so try not to take any other really challenging classes so that you have time to focus on that math class for example okay someone said what's the best and most fun part about majoring in photography I think being surrounded by other people that have a love for photography that you can like relate to and become friends with was like my favorite part my friend Kelsey from my photo classes I'm still close with her today we still keep up she lives in Colorado now and is a full-time wedding photographer and she is absolutely crushing it her work is gorgeous and I've loved seeing it change over the years so it's really cool you know making those connections in school with people that are passionate the same way you are even if it's in like kind of a different field of photography Someone said a class that you wish had been offered in your program that wasn't. I wish there was some kind of like business or marketing classes offered in the photography program that were specific for photographers. Like I said, my program was really fine art. There wasn't any type of classes about commercial photography, about running a wedding photography business, for example, or working with brands, freelancing. And I think that's something that like needs to be required in photo programs. Outside of just learning the creative and technical side of like how to be a photographer, like every student, if what they plan to do is pursue photography on a freelance basis after college, they need to be learning the business side of it. And I'm just like honestly shocked that that's not already offered. I understand that that would be like an overlap between like the business school and the art school, but something needs to happen there because that is a necessity. <laughs> and again, I'm just explaining like my college's experience. Maybe that exists at, in other photo programs, but that's just something that wasn't offered at my school that I wish it was. This is a really good question. Some Someone said, did it help you get inspired? Did taking photo classes help you get inspired? For a lot of people, I think they might say no. I think that, you know, having rules and restrictions on your art when it comes to like projects and exams and stuff can be really stifling as an artist. And that's something that I think a lot of artists like don't expect when they go to school for art is that sometimes it can feel like creating art is a burden when you have deadlines and when you have restrictions on what you have to make. So I think a lot of people struggle with that. And I did sometimes too, but in other ways it did inspire me because because I started trying like new types of art that I like had never even thought about trying before. You know, I shot things that I never thought I would shoot and that was like kind of eye-opening and you know, if I was never required to do that in classes, I might've never tried it and I might've never like found a side of photography that, you know, I enjoyed. So now let's talk about the reason why you're watching this. The number one question I got asked by so many people, is going to college for photography worth it? And is it necessary to be a professional photographer? No, no, absolutely not. And the reason why is because there are so many educational resources out there that are available and more accessible and more affordable than four years of college tuition or two years or three years or whatever it is. Especially, I mean, if you're watching this in the United States, you know how expensive it is to go to university here. It's And if you don't want to do that because financially it's insane and because, you know, you don't learn well in a classroom, maybe you're more of a hands-on type of person, there are other options out there for you that you should explore. Every big creator that you follow on Instagram or YouTube probably has some sort of education or resource that they have on their website or that they sell or that they post in person that you could pay to go and be a part of or purchase and learn from them. So I would suggest just doing a lot of research, look into the education that your favorite creators offer because that's something that wasn't really a thing when I was starting school school, at least not to the caliber that it was now, or at least I wasn't aware of it. You know, I started school in 2012. There weren't online workshops. There weren't in-person workshops the way that they're popular now, at least. And I just didn't know about them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to school for photography. That's how I got to learn. But there's so many other options and it could be even better for you than going to a university and sitting in a classroom. You know, I see so many photographers, especially in the wedding industry, that host all kinds of 
of adventurous styled shoots and workshops where they invite photographers to come all stay at an Airbnb together where they do hands-on advice and mentorships, editing photos together, talking about their process, and then going to do a styled shoot together. So if you are at the crossroads where you're deciding if you should go to a university and take photography classes or, you know, invest your money in online resources or in-person workshops, you have both options. I think what really determines what route you should take is how do you learn best? What is your learning style? Are you a visual learner? Do you work well in a classroom or are you more of a hands-on type of person that needs to experience it? Looking back, I mean, I would never change anything in my past. I think every decision I made, everything that happened in my life, you know, eventually led me to where I am now. So I wouldn't change anything. But if the education that's offered now was offered back when I was starting school, maybe I would have taken that route instead of going to school. So quite a few people asked if, you know, taking that online education route, in-person workshops, you know, mentorships with other photographers, if taking that route instead of a traditional university, do I think that that is less professional or that you'll be less successful because you didn't go to college? Absolutely not. <laughs> in fact, I think you could learn a lot more from getting hands-on experience. I think that in a lot of ways that can teach you more than school ever can. When it comes down to it, what matters the most is your portfolio. And if you can build a stronger portfolio by getting more hands-on experience, doing those types of workshops and mentorships, then you could be a more successful photographer because it all comes down to your portfolio. So it really just depends on, I think, the school you choose to go to and their photo program, number one. Do a lot of research on the schools in your area, on what their photo program is like, look into different kinds of reviews, reach out to people that have gone to school for photography and ask them their honest opinion of the program. So yeah, that is like a number one criteria for whether or not you're gonna learn a lot in your photo program is the school that you choose to go to and the program that it has. And like I said, two things that really helped me grow in my career in college outside of my photo classes were getting involved in those fashion magazines on campus and running my business, my freelance business on the side. So it wasn't just my classes that helped me in photography. It was the culmination of all of those things that helped me really grow. And so two of those things you could do outside of school anyways. To answer the question, is it worth it? For me, yes, it was worth it because I was planning on going to a four-year university no matter what. And I'm glad that I took the photo route because I was able to really explore what I thought I wanted to pursue as a career. It ended up working out. It ended up being what I have pursued. So it was worth it for me, but I don't think that it would be worth it for everyone. All right, guys, thank you so much for submitting such like thoughtful and amazing questions. I hope that I answered most of them with this video. If you still have questions about my experience at FSU for photography, leave your questions in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them. But yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. Hopefully I have some exciting stuff planned, but thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.